Okay, so this is now see that uh, Blizzard CX1 cat and dog power line. Right. Nice over, very impressive. Until it stops working. Okay, so what we're going to do is take it apart. First thing we do, we need to take these out. Okay, this has already been done, a few of them, but just put a thin blade and then just get in between there and then pop that out. These don't always come out this easily. Sometimes you get one end out and then just give them a pull and they'll come out. Okay, <coughs> six screws. One, two, three, four. Five and six. I've already taken the rest out because my battery went flat last time I tried this. Oh, there is an inspection cover here, so if you have got a problem, sometimes just by unclipping this, you can get some crap out. And occasionally, it's as simple as just cleaning this hole out in the middle. However, if not, you'll have to go through this bit. So as I say, two wheels off here, two wheels off here, just prise them off, screwdriver, pop them out, undo the screws, and then holding onto this bottom piece and the top piece, just prise the whole thing, he says, apart. Okay, so get to there and then spin it round. Grab the inside. First time you do this, you're trying to just prise that out of there. Top off. Okay. So now inside impeller, drive belt, brush, and then these two guides here. Okay. So set the brush out. Take the impeller out here. Just squeeze that in the middle and pull it up. Same there. So pull those two off. These ends come off, we'll take that runner off, and that one off, there's a little washer inside there, slide the belt off, there's your impeller, give that a clean, make sure it's tidy, and this one's got a bit of crap in there but not much, okay, and then two ends off. And there's your drive belt with your brush on the end. Okay, there's a little bit in the middle here. It's a guide. Just pull that out and make sure it's clean. And that's it. Okay, so once it's all done, you give it a clean and it will be bogging. Unfortunately, let's slide this piece back in here. A guide on the side and two guides here. Slide that in. So you've got your scoop going that way. It's part one. Okay, so now you want to put these two caps back in. And don't forget this one's got a little washer on. Okay. Alright, now what I failed to mention, I don't know if you can do this, but we'll just try it. There you go. Okay, so where the drive cog is, Take that end off first, slip the drive belt over, and then put the drive belt, put the drive belt, drive belt back on. Okay, so these ends are V'd, and then they're bowed out. So the V end goes at the top. And also worthy of note, two guides here. These here, these sides, Go inside those two guides. I don't think you see that. So that sits in there, okay? okay just put that drive belt back on. Like I said, V's are the most rest the brush in. And then these here. Make sure you've got in the guides, and then that's all I should say. 
And if it is a bit stressful, as long as the V's pointing down, and your nerf are locked in because the two white pieces sticking out there. So when it's fully home, they'll be sticking. Okay, so that's that piece done. So now we want to bed the roller in. And just make sure there's no detritus or rubbish in here. Same again on the ends of the roller. So just drop them back in and sit them in the guides there. Okay. Not yet. So once those two are in there, that's it. Just about ready to go back together. So let's put this back in. It's front end first, and then drop back. Now because this, oh sorry, this here look, there's a, two guides for this, and that just slides in and clips in. You'll know if it's right because you look like an idiot if you get it wrong, like I just did. Okay, so as I was saying, so front end in, obviously check these ends are correct. Give it a little bit of a squeeze and then continue the pressure down the back and it will all clip together quite nicely. Okay, and it's simply a case of screws back in, they're all the same length so there's no need to worry about Obviously, when you've got this off, you're supposed to be tidying it, not just taking it off and putting it back together again. So, I'd imagine seven times out of ten, that would do the job. So, it screws back in. Uh, off we go. This is just a simple Allen key. That's the standard size. I don't know what it is, but it's standard. You don't need all of these crazy tools, like a kitchen knife. Okay, so... Are you still recording? Okay. And the wheels just drop the axle through the wheel, put it in, flat headed screwdriver, and then clip it back in. Nice and easy. And I have noticed. Get off that sofa. That'll be a dog on the sofa then.